What's up guys and gals and welcome to VV Vibes where I love talking all things VV NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. So yeah, the day is finally here. We're finally getting Amazing Fantasy 15, which is by far and away, not just a grail, it is a holy grail as my friend uh, Dino Lang likes to say. And I would wholeheartedly agree. I'm not a big comic book collector. Honestly, just, I mean, I learned more about comics uh, in the last year than I did the last, you know, 31 years that I've been alive, which is absolutely nuts. But this thing is a huge deal. And when you have comic book collectors throwing gems in the app, uh, flocking to to this <laughs> to this comic that's dropping on Vivi, you definitely know it's going to be a big deal. And this is, it's going to be very hard to imagine that this is not going to be probably the biggest drop on the Vivi app either of all time or at the very least uh, the next few years whatever it is but this this is such a huge huge drop so uh we'll go ahead and jump into it i would love to uh cover some price predictions some some strategies that i'm going to use and just kind of some uh, minor refreshers as well some tips just to kind of keep in the back of your head while this stuff is dropping we're also going to be looking at the drop itself obviously uh both on the medium article as well as in the app so we'll go ahead and jump into it so there's the obviously five different uh cover variants uh, i, I fit definitely figured that they would stick to cover variants that would look almost identical to the cover i, I figured they weren't going to do anything too wacky and just have you know spider-man at like a completely different angle or him just doing something really weird i feel feel like they were going to do a just a modern rendition of the classic cover and just try and stick to the original art as much as possible but just give it more uh, of a modern look so uh yeah this is the tweet about it i'll link this down in the description below so you guys can check out the the medium article very quickly um but yeah dude imagine these artists alex uh Savick and uh, Laura Martin. What an honor, dude, to be able to do the VV exclusive variant covers of Amazing Fantasy 15. That has got to be a huge deal. Um, so big props to them. And of course, big props to VV as well as Marvel for giving this uh, drop to us. So there's all the covers. And so a couple of different things about this drop is that uh, first off, 10,000 editions. So typically we've had 30,000, we've had 20,000. We haven't had 60,000 in like a very long time. So it seems like more recently, VV is kind of stuck to the 20 or 30,000 uh, comic editions, but I, th I do think Marvel wants to see the big numbers on these comics. I do think they want to see the uh, Secret Rare go for some big numbers, especially since there's only going to be 225. I know there's 250 total, but we'll cover kind of like how much are actually exist, like actually exist in the app uh, when we cover it in the web app here in a little bit. <clears throat> published in 19, uh, published in 1962, 6,000 classic covers. 2,250 of the vintage variant covers, which is just obviously just black and white, but Spider-Man is uh, colored in. The rare is the hero variant, ultra rare, so that's 1,000, then 500, then secret rare is 250. So um, it's a very, it's a limited run. It's super limited. That's the, that's the actual uh, verbiage that VV gives. And this is, this is a huge deal. And honestly, we'll go ahead and just look at it in the app. So Amazing Fantasy 15. So how many mint numbers are we actually getting? Uh, so of course, like I said, the drop is 20 gems drop happens in about 16 hours. So, um, we're actually, so VV is actually only taking away or so taking or actually withholding 25 of the secret rares, 50 of the ultra rares, a hundred of the rares. Uh, don't know how much of the, the, uh, looks like maybe 150 of the commons, whatever the other ones are. So we're actually getting less than what's being presented. So we're not actually getting 250, uh, secret rares on the market, but 225 is still not a lot at the end of the day and there's been a lot of tweets i wish i could like pull them up but there's just been so many uh, but there's a lot of people saying that they you know they have a hundred thousand gems ready fifty thousand gems ready uh there's been even talks of some people in like uh some of the content creator bb community talking about hey they know a guy that knows a guy that has like four hundred thousand gems there's some other people that know uh you know 20 guys that have fifty thousand gems just set aside so i mean i'll tell you what this thing is going to definitely skyrocket and we'll cover the price predictions here um in a little bit but I, I i just don't know how to like enunciate it enough and i do think i mean i was on dino lang stream a bit earlier i'll probably be on some other streams later today or tomorrow morning just talking about just like how big this drop is going to be and if you guys thought fomo was really bad for things like oh vader and some of the other drops that we've gotten earlier this year like late last year i mean this is going to be such a fomo drop in the sense of just we'll go ahead and just actually jump into this next tab i know this is a bit messy here and i actually probably should uh hide my screen actually i'll show the price prediction actually a little bit later but um, so there's there's the variant covers. There's also the secret rare. Um, I do think some people are actually going to be sleeping on the variant covers. I, obviously, they're going to go for a lot of money. But if you talk to some comic book collectors, I mean, I've talked to a couple both uh, privately and on through uh, Twitter and stuff like that. If you like a specific character or if you like a certain uh, comic book, a lot of the times that they won't just get the original cover. They also want to get the variant covers, too. So 
I mean, don't don't cut like the rare or the or the um, the secret rare or not secret rare, but also the ultra rare short either. I do think even though there, it's not the classic cover, I do think people are going to be stacking the commons the most. And then people if a lot of the whales are going to be shooting for the secret rare, obviously, but um, just a couple things that I kind of wanted to cover here just as like hints. First off, wait a full second after the timer hits zero. So when you guys see the timer, three, two, one, zero, then you have to wait a full second after it hits zero. Cause I think it triggers zero when it goes to like 0 0.99999 seconds. So it's technically you have to wait a full second. Um, VV Vault has an amazing video that he just released the other day. I'll put a link to that video down in the description as well. Kind of covering just the nuance of the drop and how to prepare, how to do a rebound, how to, you know, do a quick gate, which I don't think you're gonna be able to quick gate this at all. I think you'll be lucky to get one, let alone have the time to actually like buy one, close out, buy another one before the, the rebound happens. I, I just don't think that's gonna happen. So I think you're more likely, you're just gonna be absurdly lucky just to even get this on the drop. And to be honest, there will be bots. There are still bots around on the on the app, just not nearly as much as there was obviously in January um, or even just the last couple months, but the KYC has weeded a lot of them out, but there's, I mean, considering it's 10,000 drops, it still could happen. So there's nothing you can do to control it. Just kind of just be aware that those will exist, and especially if you're trying to find stuff in the secondary market. You could snipe some good deals because a lot of the times those accounts do just floor stuff randomly for absurdly low prices or just an awkward mint number. So speaking of mint numbers, I know this might be kind of hard to see, but the I would say the two most obvious mint numbers that are going to go for a ton of money. The first one is the 1962 mint number. So if that is a secret rare or a con, I think it would be perfect if it was the common or the secret rare. But if it's, if you manage to get a 1962 mint, um, you better contact some whales or if you're looking to sell it soon, yeah, contact some whales, let it publicly know and you own it, take some offers. I mean, that could be some, people are saying some retirement level money right there, especially if it's like a secret rare, depending on the offer or whatever it is. Uh, I do think the next big, probably biggest number you could get is 616, which is the world that uh, kind of like the universe that Peter Parker resides in. Uh, for the most part and i think there are huge collectors of 616 when it comes to like literally anything marvel um a lot of people said 808 I, i'm not really i'm trying to remember like what that number even stands for i think that's just like a universally kind of like well-liked number but i also noticed too it's also the, the month and the date that the drop is happening so it's kind of like a double cool thing um also 0862 so that's august 1962 so that's like the next closest thing because these mint numbers, you can only go up to five mint numbers or five digit mint numbers because there's, remember, only 10,000 editions. Um, and there's actually only one 10,000. I think I forgot to put that one on here too. It's like the number 10,000 mint, right? The number 10,000 mint, I do think could go for a ton of money as well. So you guys have that as well. I put 1922 because I think that is the birth year of, um, who was that? Who was that? I think it was 1922. That's the birth year of... Not Jack Kirby, but I'm trying to remember. It might be, might have been Jack Kirby, but like, I, I, at first I was like, okay, all those like nuance, like year numbers and all that stuff, like it might be a bit too nuanced, like people won't really care. But if we're talking like Amazing Fantasy 15, um, true, like tried and true collectors of like Spider Man, I do think some of these mint numbers could fetch a small premium, but nothing like 616 or 1962. If you do have those two mints, that is huge. Um, the other thing to bring up is the the price could be the cheapest ever after the drop and rise quickly kind of like vader and walt so if you guys miss the drop or if you do land the drop and you see what you get whatever it is now that the market is constantly open you could actually play the drop and, and if you find out you just don't get it and you don't want to play the rebound you feel like you're just not gonna have a chance at the rebound just immediately go to the market tab and just keep refreshing on the market and on the comic side uh because there will be people that win them they might put it too low or they might put a special mint number uh, at a reasonable price and you want to pick it up so um i, I do think this is going to react similarly to vader because remember when vader was like you know 650 700 it was kind of sitting there for a while then it went up to like 1k then like a day later it was at like 2.2k then like i think later that day like towards the end of day two it went up to 3k so i definitely think that's how basically a lot of these amazing fantasy comics are going to react especially the secret rare so if you were going to try try and snipe some of these i would suggest trying to uh, go with that tactic kind of buying them sooner rather than later um, was probably the best way to go about it. The next one is could see the market do a 10 to 15 or like a 10 to 25% recovery shortly after this drop. So a lot of people, um, I'll, I'll be honest, if you if you have five 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 thousand gems and you're expecting to snipe the secret rare on the market, it's not it's likely not going to happen. I think anything below 6k is going to get instantly sniped or at the very least locked up, and you won't be able to afford it. So there, you're going to have a lot of people, I think, with 
you know, 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6,000 gems that try to go for the secret rare. They just simply can't afford it. They're priced out. I do think a lot of people are going to be priced out with this comic and the secondary. And they're going to be like, well, I have all this money. What else do I get? You know, do I go buy a Walt? Do I go buy a Todd? Do I go buy a bunch of other secret rare comics that are really, really cheap because of the Amazing Fantasy uh, for the most part? So just kind of expect shortly after the drop, a lot of things are going to start recovering. So again, if you can't get what you want, maybe you just grab a common in the secondary the main amazing fantasy just just to have one and then all the rest of your gems you start buying all the deals that are on the market because i do expect like a 10 to 25 percent recovery uh almost across the board for the most part for the for the market just because of amazing fantasy 15. Um, I also put lots of FOMO. So definitely expect lots of FOMO, especially from the whales. I mean, the whales are no different than us in the sense of they're going to FOMO into the drops. They're going to want this just as much as we do. They just happen to have an extra, you know, one, two, three, four zeros at the end of their their uh, their gem wallet so they can kind of afford to, to buy in, obviously, at a much higher price than most of us can. But I think that's mostly because expect everything to be locked up. Like, literally, I would not be surprised if literally every single secret rare on the market, other than the ones that are like maybe 100K or something like that, but just ex it, just expect all the secret rares to be locked up. You just can't buy them until you just spam click or you just happen to get lucky. Expect like the common, uncommons, the rares, ultra, and that, uh, just the first whole like page and a half, possibly two pages, they're all going to be locked up. So for a lot of people, so if you guys are listing a comic, like let's say you have the common comic and let's just say it's, uh, you know, like, like you can kind of see the portion of the price prediction here. Like let's say it's at 250. That's the floor price. But odds are all the, all the comics from 250 up to like 350 are just locked. So it might be worthwhile to list yours at like 370 just, just because you're now kind of putting yourself outside of that locked range, like off the, off the first page or two pages. And someone is just going to buy it. They're like, I don't care. I just want one. I need to buy it right now because I feel like all the ones that are going to be locked up are going to get bought. And then now that page is going to shift down. I'm going to miss out more. So just because the floor price of something is 250 doesn't mean you need to list yours at 245 or, you know, 230, whatever. Like, list, in a way, actually list it higher so people could actually have a chance to buy it. Um, so I think that's another technique to kind of keep an eye out for as well. So I, I do think everything's going to be locked up. I do think people are going to FOMO in, not because of fear. I don't think people are, you know, afraid of like, uh, you know, I, I don't think FOMO is going to cause the price to just like artificially pump. Like the, the obviously the popularity is there, the mint numbers are there, the hype is there, everything is there. Um, but I do think like because we have the whole locked up system, the reservation system, I should say, in conjunction with some other things, I think some people are at some point within, a, within even a few minutes of when the drop happens, they might be like, all right, well, I wanted to pay this much for this rarity, but dude, like the first two pages are just locked up. I'm afraid they're going to disappear. So I'm just going to buy this one. I know it's 20% more than I wanted to pay, but I, I just I just need to have it, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove myself off the screen. And here on the right side, these are my price predictions. Now, these are very loose. And honestly, it's it's pretty much impossible to price predict these things because now we're getting whales involved, right? Now we have all the whales that were basically hibernating. Now they're ready to make moves. We have people liquidating all kinds of stuff to make moves. And I do think this is some some of the stuff, like even the common, even though I have it from 150 to 250, the price of the, the, the comments could fly up to like 400. And then once it goes up to 400, it flies. People start undercutting because no one's you know buying at 400. People start undercutting super super quickly down to like uh, you know 175. Then it flies back up, and there could be huge uh, price gaps, and people are just locking everything up. It is going to be a bloodbath. It is going to be complete chaos um, on the app. So, but at the end of the day, I my relative price predictions are going to be 150 to 250 for the common. Uncommon is going to be 250 to 350. I think the rare, just again, I do think the VV exclusive covers are going to fetch a pretty good premium because of the low mint numbers. And on top of that, VV exclusive covers, I mean, say less. So rare is going to be 850 to possibly 2K. And I kind of gave a range here because I do think obviously these prices could fluctuate quite a bit. Uh, Ultra rare is going to be 2.5K to possibly 3.5K. Um, Honestly, I'm, I'm I'm a bit more bullish on this just because we have so many whales openly admitting that they are they have money, they're willing to make moves. This and like I said before, this could be by far and away probably one of the biggest drops on the app probably ever. Uh, at the end of the day, like I can't really think of another comic that could really top this off other than possibly like Action Comics number one, and then again Secret Rare 15k to 35k. I think that 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 huge range uh, could be possible because again. I do think the price of that, I mean, you look at any secret rare comic right now on the, you look at any secret rare comic right now on the app, you'll see huge price gaps. You'll see a secret rare, like the secret rare floor will be one and a half K, then it'll go 1.8 K. Then all of a sudden it goes to like 3.2. Like basically the guy undercut by like 1400 gems and it still didn't sell and another guy undercut him. So like you will see huge gaps like that. And I do think we'll see the same thing. Um, 
with Amazing Fantasy. Well, you'll just have a lot of people just listing it for 40K, 50K, 100K just to kind of troll around. And then you will have a couple people or a handful of people listing it for... All right, relatively decent prices. You know, one might list it for 9K, gets bought instantly. Another one for 17, maybe it sits there for a while, it gets locked up, you can't buy it. Then like after 10 minutes, it gets bought up and then it just keeps moving from there. So, I mean, I'll be surprised. I mean, there's going to be a lot. Of, I mean, I've, I've heard price predictions from the secret rare from people thinking it won't go any higher than 8K all the way up to 100K. Like that is the range of prices that we're going with. And I know we're in a bear market, but we've seen the power that some of the whales can have when it comes to Vader. I mean, it pushed all the way up to like 3K for a little bit. Right now, I think it's chilling around like 1.2, 1.3 for the most part. But we are talking the the uh, the grail tier, the holy grail when it comes to, to Marvel Comics. So I think I blabbered on enough. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I know I've been uh, kind of behind with some of my stuff, just been dealing with real life stuff, but I'm really excited to do this. Um, my personal, to be honest, like my personal strategy i don't have thousands of gems loaded into the app i honestly just have a few hundred so my plan is to just play the drop if i don't get it try and buy a common in the secondary and maybe pick up some other things that isn't amazing fantasy because there's a lot of really good deals on the on the app right now so that's pretty much it like i can't chase the secret rare i can't chase the rare in the secondary at least just with the current gems i have uh, for the most part and i think that's fine um i would like to at least get a common and just be happy with that but we'll see what happens so yeah that's pretty much it Hope you guys take care. Please double and triple check all of your listings so you guys don't screw yourself over and I'll catch you guys next time.